Hi folks, welcome to this video. In this tutorial we are going to create a time lapse from an area using a website in the shortest time. In order to be able to display a time series and the changes of the Earth's surface in a time lapse GIF from anywhere you want, this video will be helpful. You can download the time lapse of different layers for an area for instance create the time lapse of NDVI for an area and see the changes, using the same way you can create various time lapses. Such as NDSI time lapse, NDWI time lapse, moisture time lapse and so on. To get started, we should go to dataspace.copernicus.eu website. Obviously, other platforms provide this option such as Google Earth Engine but this powerful website doesn't need any code or any complicated process. We've already recorded a video and shown you most parts of this website. It's helpful for those who are not familiar with this website. Using the link on the top of the video you can reach it. Enter this site. Create an account for yourself. And log into your account. In the open window, the home page of the site has been specified. Go to your area and find it on the map. We use a random area. On the right side of the website click on Layers and select the Sentinel-2 image. The different types of layers have been specified here. You can select any of the layers you need to create the time lapse on. Each layer is better for displaying a particular phenomenon. Here we choose NDSI. After selecting the layer, we click on the Add to option. And in this section, we click on the Add to Time Lapse option. On the right side, a number has been added to the time-lapse section, which indicates adding a layer to the time-lapse section. A window is opened, in which we have to place the area that we intend to create time-lapse. The range can be changed by moving the window. And finally, we click on it to enter the main time-lapse section. First, we need to specify the time-lapse date. In the next section, we must determine the image filter. Whether the images are daily or monthly or yearly. We choose weekly at first. There are also filters in the display section. We set the tile coverage to 0%. We also reduce the cloud coverage to the minimum so that the images have the least amount of clouds. And finally we select the search option. We wait for it to filter the inappropriate images and prepare the right ones to create time lapse. Here, 344 images have been displayed weekly with a maximum cloud of 4%. You can increase the time-lapse speed.
The time lapse has been created here and urban changes can be seen. Areas that have built up in construction. Once again we put the filter as monthly images. Here are the images for each month. The number of images has decreased. By clicking on the download option, you can download the time lapse as a GIF. Here you can see the time lapse GIF. You can do it on other layers as well. You can choose the layers according to your needs. You only need to remove the previous layer from this section by selecting the new layer. 